Hello and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. I am Tom and there's my music. There it is. Thank you. Uh, when we left off we were trying to pick a job but we didn't have any going back to Carlisle so I think we're gonna take one that... oh hang on. No we're in um... we're in Edinburgh. Uh, we don't want to go too far out of the way. I think we're going to pick this one. Edinburgh to Glasgow. Nice quick job. Take that one. Brilliant. Easy peasy. Raining still? Was it raining when we left off? I can't remember. Uh, let's at least get the engine started. It is 11.09, so we don't need our headlights on just yet. Miserable weather. There is the exit I was looking for, thank you. And as we go to Glasgow, we will be able to pick up those two question marks that, uh, that we saw last episode. It just means, oh, hello. Oh no, we're going up here. That's quite far north of Glasgow, actually. Okay. Uh, I would like to nip in and um, collect these in any case. So we will do that. It doesn't add too much onto the journey. Last time we did have a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of trouble actually getting down to Edinburgh, we had to go all the way south into England. Oh, I'm gonna pull out. You just wait there, mate. Cheers, bud. Okay. We had uh, a huge diversion. We're driving down that same road today, but I believe exiting like driving out from Edinburgh wasn't the issue it was the uh, the road into Edinburgh that was the issue I probably uh, I probably crossed that roundabout back there like a maniac there's certain things that stick with you, right, from driving, because I've done driving lessons. Roundabouts is not one of them. I think I'm indicating correctly. I think I'm just not, uh, <laughs> not going appropriately uh, into the correct lane and everything. Like here, I feel like we should be over in this lane. I know that. We should wait for you to pass, and we do want to go all the way around. As we get past here, we can indicate because we are exiting. Here. That, that, I think, I think that was perfect. I want to mention that the uh, the morning that I'm recording this, I've also attempted to record some Portal. I say attempted because I've also deleted that recording. Uh, little experiment, it was. A little experiment. And the problem so far is that uh, because Portal is like a... And then continue straight on. Portal is like a narrative action game. Um, Go straight on. I am frequently uh, frequently stopping uh, in terms of my talking. I'm frequently not talking because Gladys is talking. And then I'm just, I'm, because I know the game so well, I'm blasting through the puzzles and not leaving, you know, the room for thought and to talk. Can we get past you? That'd be good. Eddie Stobart Fuel Transportation. 
don't think I've ever seen one of those trailers in real life. I've seen Eddie Stubart trucks. I do have a, I have a friend who's a big big fan of Eddie Stubart trucks. Um, I just didn't know they did uh, they did liquid transportation like that, like, um, like with the large canisters on the back. So I think I'm going to give Portal another shot, but I need some sort of plan of like, um, hey, here's what I'm going to talk about, rather than just the game itself. I don't know how other, I don't know how Let's Players, I don't know how they do it. I think it would help if I if I didn't know Portal so well. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, you. What the frick, man? Okay, I know I screwed up. I know I screwed up. I veered off onto the hard shoulder, but that... That did not mean that the lane was free. I don't know what happened there, I didn't see. <laughs> no damage though, and no crash vehicle offence, so... I can't really complain. I'm not happy about that though. I'm going to have to look back at what just happened there and uh, shake my fist at the screen. Oh, the trouble is, when I, even when I'm cornering slightly, the uh, it's the slippage on the road due to the rain that's causing me huge issues. See, it was really affecting my traction around there. I cannot see out the mirrors. It's okay, we're staying in this lane anyway. Uh, I should take it nice and slow down here, though. Oh, come on. Oh. Yeah, me too, mate. Nobody coming. I recognise that road. It's is that? I think that's the exit we took last time, isn't it? Should see by looking at the sign. Glasgow, straight ahead. Oban and Inverness. Right. We've only 65 miles to go, I should be doing 30. Let's cruise along. So yeah, I'll give Portal another shot. Uh, as I said, I feel like it'd be easier if I didn't know the puzzles, because I could talk about, I think I could talk through my like thinking process and, you know, really embarrass myself. But because I know them so well, I'm just blasting through them, and uh, we get to Gladys's dialogue way too quickly, and that doesn't leave enough pause for me to really um, explore anything. So I think I need a, I think I need a topic going in. Like the uh, Euro Truck Simulator videos. I'm clearly using these more like a more like a vlogging format. That's a recruitment agency. Someone's left some trash on the side of the road there. And this is a truck dealer. DAF. I think we already had DAF. Oh, we've got a vehicle. Oh, no, they they pulled off there. Fantastic. Uh, so it's just back out of Glasgow now, isn't it? And up north of Glasgow to our destination. Only 60 miles to go. Short video today. Turn left when this uh, light changes. It's another thing. There's a difference playing Euro Truck Simulator 2 and playing American Truck Simulator. 
because I do not know how junctions work in America, like, or how lights work. It seems sometimes, or maybe this is in some states, but sometimes if you're in the right lane, say, and you're taking a right turn, uh, sometimes it's okay to go on what, what would appear to be a red and just take the corner anyway. And other times it's not. It's very confusing. So I'd say I get, I get considerably more traffic offences in uh, in American Truck Simulator than I do in Euro Truck Simulator. Too. Your road systems over there are like your, your traffic laws are weird. They're alien to me. We're good for fuel. We're good for fuel. 59 miles, no problem. So Portal, I'll have another go at recording it. Because we want to move on to Portal 2, which I haven't played in years at this point. That was a little bit of a risky turn, I think. I don't think I slowed down quite enough, but we got away with it. Portal 2, not played it in years, so when we come to that I think I will have to stop and think about the puzzles. Portal, I just, I know it too well. Other games I'm looking at playing, I picked up some games in the Steam sale. I did, I picked up Celeste, which I've never played, but I know people have raved about. So maybe I'll have to give that a go. I also picked up, um, I picked up Elite Dangerous which I think might be, like, more my speed. I've played it before. I just I didn't have it on PC. And now I do. Uh, but I think that might be more my speed in terms of, like, its basic... Well, okay. Elite Dangerous fans will, uh, will resent my calling of this, but it's basically, you know, trucking in space. It's not. There's so much more to it than that, but... Like, the way I play it, it's basically trucking in space. You go to a location, pick up cargo, uh, go to another location, drop it off. Oh, the... just can't get traction on these roads in this rain. The thing about Elite Dangerous that I think would make it more dull than, say, uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2 is... Um, well, no weather for one. Look, we've got weather here. Uh, rather than weather, we'd have... Um, like, jump to a different star, and when you jump into that star system, you um, you spawn in pretty close to the, uh, the sun, and you've got different environmental factors there because there can be different temperatures, and, you, like, sometimes you've got to, like, get out of that area real quick. So you've got that going on, and then you've got uh, the potential to be caught up in space battles. You know, pirates will scan you and uh, try to get into dogfights with you. So that, rather than just lurking at British countryside, <laughs> and me saying, oh, that's far less exciting. <laughs> but the problem, yeah, the problem is, it's just, it's a lot of just jump from star to star, fuel up, and then jump from star to star again. That's what it is. So it's, uh, I feel like it makes for a pretty dull background to a let's play, but then again, so does this, right? Which is, is ideal for the way I'm using this, which as I say, it's like, it's like a vlogging thing. I'm talking about how I was trying to record Portal this morning and, uh, wasn't happy with the results, so I'll have to have that. I'll have to have another go at that. But I'm just in these videos. I'm just vlogging and saying what, whatever's on my mind. And that's that's working for this uh, for Euro Truck Simulator 2. The problem now is if I record in batches, and I'm ahead here. I'm, I'm recording for next Wednesday at the moment. If I record in batches and then record something else in batches that also takes the vlogging format, 
say to go on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, like, say I started recording American Truck Simulator for Tuesdays and Thursdays, but I did those days after. Suddenly my vlogging, my vlo what I'm using as a vlogging format video is out of order and is, I think it gets weird then. I think I need something else to fill if I do want to fill the week. I need something else for the Tuesdays and Thursdays. It wasn't even going to be Portal. Portal was going to be Saturdays. It's all over Clearly, I still need to give it uh, a bit more thought. We are in a quarry. Um, I'm going to give that a shot. I think we're going to have to go this way around. Um, Take it nice and slowly. Oh, we've got plenty of space. I'm not sure why I'm worried. I just I can barely see in the mirrors where the trailer is. It's it's pretty heavy as well. So I'm, I'm right the way down on the accelerator here. Oh God, which way round is it? I'm trying to get a sense for where it is. Is it up top? I doubt it's up top, right? Hold on, can I see better from... Probably not. No, I can't zoom any further in. Okay. I mean... I'm gonna assume... I don't see anything over there flashing, so it's got to be... Although you'd think it would park there where that trailer is, quite, or quite close to it. I'm gonna keep on going up this way in any case. I need to know, maybe this is something I need to look at. Is there a free camera that I could, like, get out and explore? We found it. We found it. Okay. We made the right choice here. But it would be good to have, like, a, a free camera that could disconnect entirely from the truck. And that basically be me as a driver getting out and saying, Alright, where do you want it? Show me. Oh, I'd like it to line up perfectly if it, if it could. Just, uh... I don't want to have to reverse back up the hill. There we go. That'll do. You can have that. That wasn't too difficult. I've never done a quarry park before though. Uh, no, no new level there. But we're in Glasgow now. In fact, we're north of Glasgow, but uh, we won't too much about that. That's what we want. Something from Glasgow to Carlisle. Oh, there's others that take us across to Ireland. That'd be... I, did, I said we wanted to go across to Ireland. Uh, we'll probably take this one to Carlisle, though, because we want to head back down there and upgrade the garage, probably hire a couple of drivers if uh, we can. We've got a few recruitment agencies open to us now. Taking boric acid to Carlisle. We're not going to do that this episode. We're just going to get it uh, lined up whilst we remember. Why am I hitting enter? Uh, I need this button. There we go. World map. Uh, we've already hit everything we need to in Glasgow, so we don't need to worry about that. We're just going to go down here. We've already hit everything we need to in Edinburgh, so we don't need to go back up there. There's no sense in going over here, is there? No, we're not missing out on anything. Uh, so we should just head straight to Carlisle. We could do with Newcastle as well to get those two locations as well at some point. There's nothing in Carlisle. Well, certainly there's nothing that I haven't hit yet, so... It's just a straight job. Straight job down to Carlisle. And then we'll start thinking about spending some of our money 
We've got a few truck dealers open to us. Daff, Iveco, Man, and Scania. I don't know yet which manufacturer or which truck we're going to uh, be attempting to buy. These all start at 112,000. And the question is as well, are we buying a truck for ourselves or are we buying it for our first driver? At the moment we have 55,000, but we can take out a loan of up to 400,000. I can borrow 500,000 in fact, so I could get this and this and uh, add the 55 that I've already got. So I could have 555,000, which would be enough to upgrade the garage and I think purchase three trucks, hire two drivers. So maybe we do that in the next episode when we get back to Carlisle. But in the meantime, I have been Tom. Thank you very much for watching and ta -ra.